Hi, Mike Brantley Auctioneer. I'm kind of a connoisseur of auction terms and conditions. I've seen hundreds, many in legal cases where I've served as an expert witness. And I'm increasingly seeing what I titled this video, crazy stuff. I mean, really crazy stuff, wacko stuff. I don't know whether we're, I don't know what other word works best here other than crazy and wacko. Um, I saw one the other day where property was selling absolute. Auctioneer was reserving the right for the seller, auctioneer to bid in the auction, absolute, not a forced sale, selling absolute, but not selling absolute because the seller is bidding, reserving the right to bid nonetheless. I saw some other terms where uh, the auctioneer could retract your bidder, your, the bidders bid for them essentially take the high bidder and say, you're not the high bidder anymore. Uh, withdraw property at any time up until sold to um, deny bidders the right to bid, even if they'd placed bids prior to. I've seen, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's not always in the largest print. It's, it's usually not on the first page of the terms and conditions. I suspect most auction participants, bidders, buyers, uh, would not be able to tell you any of these things because they don't notice them. But my goodness, I don't know where we're, well, I kind of do, but I'm not, <laughs> where are auctioneers getting this stuff? I mean, you don't need stuff like that in your terms and conditions. You lay out the registration criteria ahead of time for bidders and buyers. And if they meet that criteria, let them bid. And if they uh, cause problems or what have you, uh, don't let them bid next time. And if they don't pay for their bill, don't give them the property. And if they take the property and don't pay for the bill, then pursue them. Uh, but to reserve the right to be crazy, wacko, as an auctioneer, seems misguided. As I said, I don't think a lot of bidders, buyers could tell you, yeah, I signed up for this auction and man, oh man, the terms are just crazy. But when we see them in court cases, and I'm sitting with attorneys around the United States, and I'm, I'm sitting in an office uh, out west and uh, these terms are laying in front of me and the auctioneer says, uh, you know, that he can do this and do that and all that stuff I just kind of told you. Um, the attorney says, what do you think of that? And I said, well, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's not something that if bidders or buyers noticed that they would agree to. And, and, and secondly, um, it's something that bidders and buyers would probably not agree to. And so it's clear the bidders in this case, or the buyers in this case, uh, probably didn't notice that. And secondly, this action taken, talk about unreasonable, unreasonable, unconscionable, that, that I can, re you set out the registration requirements, I register, I meet those requirements, and I'm a registered bidder, and I'm trying to place bids, and you retract, you void my bid. For what reason? You withdraw the item, absolute or with reserve. I understand with reserve, but absolute, I, I bid on it, you withdraw the item. You deny me the right to bid further. What did I do? I registered for your auction in good faith. I met the requirements and, and now you're, you're doing this kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know. I don't. And this case where I'm sitting with this attorney is not small potatoes. This is big, big in the millions of dollars. And his bid was placed and there's evidence that the bid was placed. And then the bid was canceled. And the property was sold to somebody else for less money. 
this attorney has been hired by the high bidder whose bidder was voided. The seller has their own attorney who's saying you didn't get all you could for my property. The high bidder, not the buyer, but the high bidder has an attorney who says you didn't have any right to void my bid and I should have bought this property. You shouldn't have sold the property that the person should have sold to me. And the auctioneer has an attorney. The seller has an attorney. I mean, is that where is is that where we're headed? Well, that's where we're headed. Because it's one thing to have crazy, wacko terms and conditions of things that you as the auctioneer slash seller can do to bidders and buyers. But it's another thing to actually invoke some of those supposed rights ta to, to take action based on those rights. Because I'll tell you, uh, it may not matter on a $10 or $100 or $1,000 item, but you get up in the millions of dollars and people are paying attention. And this, this attorney had taken the terms conditions, 30 some pages, and highlighted all the things that he wanted me to look at. And uh, I looked at him and, and I said, you know, I, I get it, I, I've seen it. It's not, it's not unheard of. It's unusual, but it's not unheard of. He said, do you think we have a case? I said, yeah, I think we have a case because I don't think this is equitable. I don't think it's reasonable. I think it's unconscionable. I don't think it's fair dealing. It's not fair dealing. I, if I ask a rhetorical question on my blog here not long ago, I said, uh, I wonder how many auctioneers would bid at their auctions. Uh, relatedly, I asked auctioneers uh, not too long ago, how many of you would sign your contract as a seller? I had auctioneers tell me, I wouldn't bid at my auction. I wouldn't sign my own contract. Well, when you wouldn't participate in your own auction, what's that tell you about the likelihood other bidders are going to like your terms and conditions or the 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 chances that you're going to miss some bidders who say, I'm not going to participate. And secondly, if you wouldn't sign your own seller contract, I mean, maybe you need to look at that contract and say, you know, what's unreasonable, what's not fair or accommodating about that contract that would cause you not to sign it. We have been on the so-called crazy train here. I would say it's been, this is 2020, uh, it's been about five years, maybe four years, that we've started to see different auctioneers saying, well, I can put that in my contract, I can put that in my terms and conditions, I can disclaim, I can waive, I can uh, not be responsible, I can, um, we, I got a call from an attorney in Indiana he sent over the terms and conditions. He said, my buyer bought this farm. They reopened the bid and sold it to somebody else a week and a half later, 11 days to be specific. I said, 11 days. They opened the bid back up 11 days. He said, yep. They reserve the right for further bidding to come in after the auction. They didn't specify a number of days or hours or minutes or anything, but after the auction, but in this case, it was 11 days. He said, how do you, how do you view that? I don't know if you can help me, but how do you view it? I said, well, it's, it's, that's, that's crazy town. 11 days later, hell, there's guys that close deals in 11 days and, and they're going to reopen it 11 days later to another bidder, similar to our, you, you voided my bid and sold it to somebody else. I don't know. I don't know. When I was in auction school a lot of years ago, I don't remember hearing about any of this. In fact, I don't think it was discussed. I worked for another auctioneer here in Ohio, in Columbus, Ohio, uh, for about nine years. And I don't remember hearing about any of this. In the last four or five years have been quite a ride. 
as I've looked at terms and condi- I've, I've actually seen some common elements across lawsuits here in the United States. But you want to get attention as an auctioneer, uh, mistreat your seller, mistreat bidders and buyers, and sell high dollar item, um, you know, and and have crazy, wacky, unconventional, um, unfair, unreasonable, unconscionable terms that you can void my bid, that you can not take the high bid, that you can uh, withdraw the item in an absolute auction, that you can, I, I mean, I reopen the bid 11 days later. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. What's going on? We can do better. We can do a lot better. Mike Branley Auctioneer, thanks for checking in. We got other videos on the same page, others forthcoming. Have a great day and stay safe.